Alright, what's up guys? I am back with uh, another video. This is Zeke here. Um, how you guys doing? As you can see, I got me FL Studio 12. Super excited. So fun to mess around with. A lot of things have changed. Definitely for the better. Um, well, anyway. I got... Are we even... Okay. I got... Uh, this track I'm working on, and in this track, I wanted to show you his bass. Um, uh, I don't know. Let me just uh, play it all for you, and then I'll show you the bass uh, that I made. All right. Please don't make fun of me. It's not done, especially the strings. They're really not mixed well. Uh, this, I just made this real quick. Okay. <laughs> Something like that. The string, I don't know, I don't know how to fucking mix the strings so they sound more impactful, if that's a word. But anyway, this bass right here I wanted to show you. Let's turn off the fanciness in FL12 so I'm not having a heart attack. Keep it sober, bro. Just keep it sober. Yeah, this is a, a bass virtual riot kind of like he was showing me this idea on Harmer, and I just uh, took it. <laughs> well, he showed it to me, so I guess that's what he was intending for me to learn from it. But anyway, I kind of made it my own, kind of did my own thing. Um, so let's bring up Harmer. It's freaking me out. FL12, everything is different. Uh. I really need to get like a bigger monitor or something because my laptop's just not cutting it. I can barely fit uh, fucking armor on my laptop. But what you do is you detach it and you can just pull it up. All I'm really getting cut out is just the keyboard. Sorry if this is really loud, by the way. Uh, I'm trying, like, <laughs> for the past like 12 videos, I'm trying to get the audio right and my voice is like as equal as the sound. Anyway. Back to the bass. Um, it's just a saw wave and harmer. I'm on side A, nothing on side B. Unison, nine voices, settings like this, or you can just set the taste. But the main, the main juices here, whatever that means, is the phaser, which is on the deeper mode. Uh, what's this? What's virtual rise name? Valentine? Val something Valentine? I don't know. The German man said, "Put on deeper harmon harmon harmonic mode." Is that what it's called? Phaser scale, harmonic view scale, whatever. Anyway, harmonic mode. Um, and we are automating. What are we automating? Okay, we got a couple of things. We're automating the width slightly, so it's like moving back and forth. And the offset uh, knob, which is just like a, it's basically just like this line of, like you can see it in the thing. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, help me. It's like moving, um, depending on how the width is, it's like has these little combs going through it. It's like a comb filter. I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. It's like a little filter notch in the spectrum. That's what it is. All right, come here. It's okay. It's because I detached it and wants to hide from me. I'm sorry, I detached you. Come here, it's all right. I want to fucking kill myself. Where is it? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. 
most professional professional of the professionals. It's right here. Why can't I? What the fuck is going on? FL twelve. Oh, there it is. Why the fuck are you up there? <laughs> Fucking hiding from me, you son of a bitch. Anyway, yeah, the offset is just like a little thing that filters shit, depending on the width. If it's just like the width is over here, then it's like one line. Anyway, you'll figure it out. Uh, distortion, log, setting to that. Compression, burning, bringing up the bass. Bringing up the highs a little bit. Um, chorus. Um, speed is like a little bit lower. So it's like sharper. Um, I'm automating the depth of the vibrato. Yeah, I'm not doing pretty on that. I don't know why it's set to this pitch, but it was. I did that for some reason. Well, I guess I can, I can edit it on my keyboard without when I'm in bass level. All right. Yeah, automating the vibrato just whenever I want it. Uh, it's right here. And that's that's the offset filter thing. And this is the what is it? Oh, pitch thickness. Uh, it's the unison pitch, th pitch thickness right here. It's, it, it just messing with it. Like I don't even need it really. It's like gives it more percussive, like a like a f f sound right in the beginning of the sound. Yeah, no, it's it's yours to do whatever you wish. But uh, this is the width. I'm just editing very slightly. You can edit it like fucking crazy. And do what you want, cause no oh shit, I fucked up a whole fucking track. Because yeah, the width makes it really, really gets really crazy sometimes. Um, and I went into the phaser width and just that's what uh, uh Virtual Riot said to do, just make a little, little line like that or something, and the width. Envelope, phaser width envelope. So it's like. What's that even telling me, man? I don't know. Just do that. Just do what he says. What happens if I turn it off? That sounds cool, too. I don't know. Just mess with it. Mess with it to your likings. Um. What else am I doing on here? Yeah, I'm just yeah, that's it. Um, got the vibrato. The vibrato made it hilarious. War. <laughs> I love that. Um, these are just the uh, these bases here. Are just the shit I recorded. It's in my sample pack. Go to my sample pack playlist, and it's called Robosaur. And it's for free. And I just made this one different. This track is still not done. I still got a lot to do. Especially with those fucking strings. I'm not good at strings. I don't know. What I do to strings is just put them in a reverb. Put the wet all the way up so you just you can't even tell if they sound good. You just know that there's strings there. That's all I do because I don't know how to mix them right or do whatever to make them sound good. Like, I don't fucking know. Anyway, um, I put out the FLP just to this song when I finish it. Uh, I basically should. You can just make this real fast. It's not hard. I don't need to put that out down the FLP. Okay. I'm sorry, but uh, but yeah, this song should be done. I got a really, no I got another cool song. Uh, this melodic dubstep song that one, my one wait has like three thousand views. 
or so, or almost 3,000. And I guess people will like melodic dubstep. I don't know why that has like almost 3,000 views, and my other stuff has like 30 views. <laughs> I don't get like how YouTube works. I guess there's a lot of traffic for melodic dubstep. I'm not too sure. <laughs> But yeah, this is a pretty sweet bass, pretty easy to make, uh, if you have armor, I guess. I guess you can do this with just a phaser. How would you do this? Yeah, envelope, I don't know. Just get armor, it's really good. Um, that's about it, guys. A uh, couple songs coming out. Almost at 150 subscribers, so I'll have another sample pack coming out. Um, go download FL12. It's really sparkly. It's really fun. Oh, Seamless made a good point. Um, if you go into your uh, program files, like the x86 or whatever you call it, and go to um, your FL image line FL11 or whatever you had before, just type in in that folder that says FL11, put FL12. And then all the FL12 stuff will just go in and go where it needs to go without deleting all your project files or your samples. You should back up your samples and your shit just in case. I didn't because I'm an asshole. And I just did it. <laughs> but it worked for me and it should be fine for you. Um, I'll just back up the stuff that you feel like you need just in case. But uh, yeah. Go get FL12. It's super sweet. I love, I'm loving it right now. There's so many little effects and little just eye candy that makes you like, ooh. That's cute, and, but I'm sure I'll get tired of it in five seconds. Anyway, I'm talking too long. Y'all have a good one. Peace.